Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and uh, welcome back to another uh, little one of my uh, review type things. Um, oh, and it's done this again, great fun. Um, so, um, the last one went kind of well, I think. Um, I think you guys kind of enjoyed it. Um, pretty sure the person doing it enjoyed it. I don't know what's going on here. Let's get out of that. Um, so, after that video, um, this guy called Grim Grimgork, I think, um, emailed me and said, um, "Hey, can you come and check my game out?" Um, pretty sure he's been around my videos for quite a while now. Um, but looking at this, um, just looking at this screenshot, it looks really amazing. Um, so, I think as opposed to the last one where it was kind of um, a bit kind of not very made, very much kind of there, there wasn't as much. Uh, graphics and stuff there, but this it looks like there's um, a lot going on. So uh, let's go give it a go. Um, okay, so we've got kind of this effect. Um, I don't know if if you can see this, but uh, as I'm swimming, the whole screen's kind of moving. Um, that's pretty awesome. Is this a baddie? Do you think? Or by the way, sorry if it is uh, quite laggy. This is just the recording software. F F1 help, so let's, let's try that. Uh, what's sad to move? A left mouse button to hit, hold R, right, mm, use space, L, M, whoa, whoops. <laughs> uh, not quite sure what happened there. Let's try this again. <laughs> Hopefully this will work this time. Fingers crossed. I think I might have pressed the wrong button and it's just kind of screwed it all up. Um, it's called Stations of Blarp. I'm not sure if that has some kind of importance, but just off the bat, um, Blarp doesn't sound incredibly a professional name. Um, I, I guess it's personal preference, a lot of it, but. Just maybe change the name if possible. I don't know. If it has some sort of importance there, by all means. Uh, so let's uh, <laughs> let's try this again. If it comes up, this is in the working progress. Ooh, it might be a risk. Hmm. I doubt it's a risk. Let's just close that down. So, the levels are randomly generated. That's pretty good. A brave futuristic adventurer is seeking for adventure and lost technologies. Okay. So, it's just crashed. Um. Yeah, that might be an, an issue. I'm not quite sure what's happened there, but just as a point of view. Yeah, something's obviously going on here. Um, so, you can see something did just happen then. It wasn't me, I didn't press anything, I promise. Um, but for some reason then, just then, it closed down and then it opened itself up again. So what does this do? Okay, this aims. And then, that's, shoot. Okay. Um, so, obviously, I think this game you could probably play for quite a while, um, looking at it. It looks uh, quite a good concept. You got uh, something going here. The so far level generations quite cool. Uh, I'm not sure I meant to shoot these things. Again, um, oh okay. Um, something I would say, same as in the last one. I think this is probably something in common. Um, some kind of tutorial would be needed because at the minute I'm just wandering around. I've not got a clue what I'm meant to be doing. Um, I'm just shooting things for the fun of it. Um, another thing I can see right off the bat um, is there's a few too many colours. So you've got this great style and it's kind of retro and everything, but you see here everything moves and it gets a bit bright and there's colours changing all over the place. And um, I think I'm losing bullets here, but maybe cut down on those um, a little bit. Another thing I, I think I might have just caught it like there but I think I just clipped through the wall a bit a little bit earlier 
Um, so that might be something you want to look into or, or test a bit. Again, I'm just I'm just nitpicking at the minute. Um, there's nothing particularly game breaking with them so far. Um, apart from these colours, these colours are a bit um, unnerving every so often. Uh, it creates a bit of an atmosphere, and I guess um, makes it kind of all retro. But all the same, um, maybe dim that down a little bit um, here and there. Another thing, I, I'm not sure if this is me recording or if this is actually um, a problem with the game, but it does seem a little bit laggy. So uh, again, little nitpicks, but um, yeah. Also, this little thing, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it appears to be able to fly through walls. Um, <laughs> which is a, a bit weird. Um, again, you might want to look in some pathfinding or something for that. Um, whoa, okay. Um, that was bright. As just a note. Maybe you want to dim that down a little bit, whatever that is. But it, this is... <laughs> Looking at this, this is actually really fun. Um, I think if this, if I was just playing this in my own time, and I, I could get into this. I, I think this is something I could, I could enjoy playing uh, in in my spare time, which is which is good. The shooting with just a little bit there, there seems quite good. Um, it's, it's quite fun. It's actiony. It's kind of shoot everything in the world. Although we have got bullets, and I think I'm. Uh, using them not so sparingly. So I appear to have a jetpack as well. I'm not quite sure what a jetpack does in this case. Um, but we're just going to presume it does something. Um, animation wise, uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Looks like we're swinging some sort of sword, but there's no sword or anything there. Um, what it does remind me of actually is Halo. Uh, it looks kind of Halo-y style. Okay, these these things are kind of getting a bit close. Can we shoot them? No ammo. Uh, how do we get more ammo? Uh, so again, let's just click F1 just to Q to drop weapon. Um, scroll up. Hit crates to open them. Okay. Um Oh, press the button again. Great. Um what yeah, okay, so to sum that all up, a few little things. Um colours dim them down a little bit. Watch out for this little guy kind of clipping through walls and stuff. Um little issues with clipping here. A few animation issues. Um and obviously maybe get rid of that thing where click escape and the whole game kind of disappears um because obviously I've pressed that now like two or three times by accident uh, and the whole thing's gone boom and disappeared so is this maybe some kind of are you sure you'd like to quit but that was kind of nitpicking uh, another main thing is a tutorial um I would really really like to see a kind of game that's a work in progress that has a tutorial there um Something that's built into it, maybe. Um, like I'm working on something at the minute, and it's kind of built within the game, so it doesn't feel like it's a tutorial. Something like that, I think, would work really well in these kind of games. Uh, but anyway, guys, that has been Stations of Blarp. Uh, maybe consider changing that name uh, a little bit, but um, all the same, good game. Feels very fun to play, and I think if I wasn't recording, I could probably sit there for maybe. Uh, half an hour or so just uh, playing it but some kind of goal would be nice anyway um, uh, all, overall very good game you've got going there um, just looking at this gran grenades is that meant to be grenades uh, I'm not sure um, if it is yeah it's not spelled like that mate um, anyway Anyway, I'm gonna kind of stop rambling on here. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've got something in your own game that you want to show me, uh, like Mr. Gringork did, uh, then send it to me. Um, I always leave contact stuff 
in the description. Um, so if you go check that out, send me something, I will uh, promise to have a look. Uh, and likelihood is you'll get the upper hand if you do. So, um, remember to like, subscribe, and I will talk to you later.